Hey everybody, welcome back to Tech Odyssey. So today I'm here to talk about the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5G. So I have here the original Z Flip and I've actually become a pretty big fan of it. It's enjoyable, it's nice, it gives you all the stuff that basically the Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus does, but you get this cool little folding feature, which is nice, but you have to pay a premium for. The premium of $1,380 MSRP. But today, they announced the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 5G, and it's gonna be coming out, start shipping on August the 7th, which is right after the unpacked event, but to the tune of $1,400. And $49 so they've kind of hiked up the price a little bit and we're gonna talk about that and whether you should buy it but before we get into that I do want to say if this is your first time stopping by the channel I appreciate you being here if you enjoy the video please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell so you can get updates when new videos come out now let's talk about the Z Flip 5G <music> Like I said, Samsung announced it today. I thought it was gonna be coming out, or at least released, during the Unpacked event here on August the 5th, but they decided to go ahead and do it today. And I think part of the reason that they did that is because it's not really the successor that we were thinking about, even though there are some minute changes which are worth paying attention to. However, I was kind of hoping they would make some more improvements. I thought maybe they'd put a larger screen on the outside of it. I thought they'd give us a bigger battery. I thought that they would upgrade it and give us an enhanced refresh rate. No, they didn't do any of that. Basically, they took the five the, the Z Flip as it is. You've still got the same 6.7 inch screen. You've still got the same eight gigabytes of RAM, the same 256 gigabytes of internal storage. Nothing has changed really on the outside at all. It still has the same two 12 megapixel cameras on the back, the same 10 megapixel front facing selfie camera, wireless charging. But what they did do is they added the Snapdragon 865 Plus. So kind of a significant update there in the power department and they've also added 5G. Now, that to me causes some problems because the processor that's in here already is actually quite nice. It works really well. It runs pretty much just like a Samsung Galaxy S20 to me. I don't really notice any difference other than the refresh rate, which of course, I have the 120 hertz refresh rate on my S20 Ultra. Well, in here, I actually really enjoy the performance of this phone, but what I don't enjoy is the battery life. I use this as my daily driver. I have been for a couple of months now. By the time it gets to about seven o'clock in the evening, I'm kind of reaching for my charger. I'm getting over four hours of screen on time, and I would like more than that because it doesn't quite last me through the day. To last me through the day, I need kind of about six. That's okay with an LTE modem, but whenever you take a 5G modem and you also put the Snapdragon 865 inside of the phone, that right there is gonna suck up some more power. The 5G antenna uses quite a bit more electricity. It needs more juice. And that's not a good thing when you have a 3300 milliamp battery. If you look at most of the Android phones that are coming out now, especially the Samsungs, they're all pushing 4000 milliamps and higher. That's because these larger screens and these processors, they require more power to run them. Granted, you don't have the 90 hertz or 120 hertz refresh rate inside of the Z Flip. And whenever it's closed, you're not really using any battery. There's no always on display. I mean, you do have it right here on the second display, but that's not really using a whole lot of electricity at all. I mean, two hamsters and a small wheel could probably charge enough power for this in a day of running for an hour. So I'm not really worried in that department, but they raised the price up to $1,449. And basically they're just giving us a 5G modem. Now, if you care about 5G, then maybe that might be something for you. But if you've already got the regular Z Flip, it definitely isn't an upgrade. You're probably not gonna notice any performance increase whatsoever. The user interface is gonna feel the same. It's gonna look the same. Yes, they added two new colors. They've got a gray and like a bronze gold color, which do look really nice. I will give them that, they look really good. But for $1,449, it's kind of a non-starter for me if you already have the phone. If you don't have the phone, maybe it's worth the extra 80 bucks to go ahead and get it. And I was reading online, it seems like they're still gonna keep the original one for 1380. You can pick one of these up on resale for less than a grand now. You can find them on Swappa. You can find them on eBay. They have some pretty decent prices out there if you're looking to get one. Now, I do enjoy it. 
I actually love this phone. I, it's funny, I made a video about the Z Flip before it came out saying, this is why you shouldn't buy it because it's first generation hardware. It's too expensive. And basically it's an S10 Plus that folds for more money than the S20 Ultra costs. So those things kind of are still ring true. But here's the thing with this phone. I absolutely love it, which is surprising because I didn't think that I would. I have the fold, I have this, and I've actually enjoyed using this more than the fold. It's really nice being able to just fold it, close it, hang up phone calls, answer phone calls. It's got a really nice screen on it. It's got the ultra thin glass on it. I haven't had any problems, not one single issue. And I'm telling you, if you get one of these, get the Samsung official leather case because it makes it totally awesome. Now, now that I've gushed on about this for a second, when it comes to the Z Flip 5G, I thought we were gonna get the Z Flip 2. I thought it was gonna be better cameras, maybe an upgrade, because the cameras on this, they're okay, but they're not stellar, they're not amazing. They're just good. And that's mostly okay in most settings, but if you've used nicer cameras, then you can kind of tell the difference a little bit. This was a really good first generation phone. And I feel like the 5G is kind of a little bit of a cop out. I feel like it's more of a money grab than it is innovation like the original Z Flip was. And yeah, there are some people that are gonna buy it. I'm sure they did the math, they ran the numbers, they talked to some people, they did some marketing samples and surveys, and people are like, yeah, we'll buy it. And the colors look totally cool. If you care about 5G because you know some of the newer areas where 5G deployment is at is nice and it does help out, 5G is not there yet. It sucks the battery. The 865 Plus is going to be a more bigger drain on the battery. So with a 3300 milliamp battery, I wish they would have found a way to put a larger battery in there, at least 3500 or 3800 to bump up to compensate for the extra power and the 5G antenna power consumption. They did not. And then they charged us more money. So... Those things are considerations I would think about if you're looking to get one. But overall, if you're curious about getting into the form factor, I really enjoy the phone. And if you're an old school person like me and you used to have a flip phone 20 years ago, 18 years ago, this is going to be a really nice blast from the past and it's a really enjoyable phone to use. But it's going to cost you a lot of money to get there and I have concerns about it. So if you can get a good trade-in deal, if you can find a regular Z Flip that's just the 4G LTE, I guarantee it's gonna be 99% the same experience because same screen, same camera, same battery. You really are just getting the extra 5G and you're probably not gonna notice the 865 plus. So that's all I've got. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down in the comment section. I'll get back with you. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like and the subscribe button and the little notification bell so you get updates when new videos come out. I appreciate you being here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.